shake them back and forth. And lift up the bill. It's because I weak them up. I'm cheating, I never said you couldn't do that. That's crazy. Use one finger and win the challenge every time. An impossible feat of strength. And you can I choose the twins. Smart kid. NathanEraTV.com What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, I'm showing you seven magic challenges you will always win. Challenge accepted. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button and let's go. $100 bill, you can see, and a paper clip, you can also see. So the challenge is you have to clip the paper clip to the $100 bill and lift the $100 bill up off the table, but you cannot clip the paper clip to the edge, the corner. Can you I put a hole? No, you can't put a hole in it. You can't destroy the bill or tear it in any way, anything like that. I mean, you have to figure out a way to lift the bill off the table. So that is the challenge. See if you can figure it out. Bend in the clip. I see ya. Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting tactic. Am I allowed to touch the bill? You can touch the bill with it, yeah. You can't pull the bill. Now remember I said you have to clip it to the bill. You did lift it off the table, but you didn't clip it to the bill. You can't clip it on the edge. Okay. All right. So this is really cool. Check this out. So I'm gonna take the paper clip, watch. There's a security strip in the middle of the bill right here. See that? A little holographic strip right there. It's to prevent counterfeiting. What most people don't know is you can take a paper clip and see these sections of paper right here that kind of go across the bill like this. You can actually slide a paper clip underneath that, just like that. And now you can lift the bill off the table. With the paper clip. In the US $100 bill, there is a holographic strip that runs right down the middle of the bill. Three pieces of paper that overlay the strip right here are actually not attached. It is actually a counterfeit deterrent and you can test for a real $100 bill by sliding the paper clip in between the holographic strip and the paper of the bill. Okay, 40 bucks on the line. Ava, I've got a card trick challenge for you. So I've got a pair of queens a pair of eights and a pair of aces on the table. All you have to do is choose any pair. Choose any pair you want. Any pair? Any pair, yeah. I choose the twins. <laughs> This is a fun little gotcha prank. All you do is take a couple bills. You need two that are exactly the same. And then some pairs of playing cards. Lay them out on the table and say, just pick any pair. So once they've picked up the cards, you say, okay, pick up the pair of bills. I guess I'll keep the 20s. It's an easy, fun, quick kind of prank challenge that you can do at home with just some cards and some bills. Try it out. Okay, I've got a bunch of markers laid out on the table here. You can see, Ava, that I have them arranged. One, two, three, and four. This is the challenge, okay? See mm -hmm. if you can move one marker and it still be one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. See if you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this thing? Do I get more than one? You can like move it and see and test, yeah. That would be, that would be a two, three, four, one. <laughs> I can only move one marker. Yeah, you move one marker. That's four, two, four now. You think you'd like spell something with it? What's that? A one. <laughs> That's a one? Or where's the two and the three and the four though? All right, let me show you. This one's actually pretty cool. You've got it one, two, three, four. All you do is take this one, mm -hmm. slide it out, and see now that becomes one, two, three. And then you slide this in between the one and the two, and it becomes four. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Good try. You're gonna start out with the markers laid out like this. One, two, three, and four. Between the one and the two, you want only about a marker width of gap. And you remove this marker right here. That is the marker second from the end in the four. Move it over here to fill the gap 
between the one and the two, thus making it into a four, and turning the four into a one and a two. It's a pen challenge. I have the cap to the pen right here. So we don't need the pen part, we just need the cap. The challenge is, can you flick the little tab of the pen? You see off. the little thing off? Yeah, can you flick it off? off. <laughs> no, just, you gotta flick. I know, it does kind of hurt your finger. It is possible, I'll tell you that. Is it by flicking? Yeah, it's by flicking. Is flicking wrong? No, you're flicking the right way. This is not possible. You say it's not possible? Well, semi not possible. Check this out, you ready? Yes. Hold it like Shut this. <laughs> Dad. It's because I weakened it for you. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick, it's extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Here is the secret to winning the pen cap challenge every time. This works best with this brand of bit pens. You're gonna take a pen and all you need is the cap. They can flick this thing as many times as they want and it is not going to come off unless they know this secret. You have to hold the pen cap in this specific grip and squeeze it very tightly. Then you're going to flick at the base on this side of the pen cap to make that little clip just fly off. One word of caution, when it doesn't work, Owie! It really hurts. I've got two books woven together like this. The challenge is, can you separate the books by pulling on this side and pulling on this side simultaneously while I hold them in the middle just like this? Why hold them in the middle? I hold it right here at this corner and you see if you can pull them apart. <laughs> it's, it's an impossible feat of strength. like the sword and the stone, and you remove the book from the other book. No, I can't be the king of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Except the pull. Okay, yeah, that's totally impossible. It is impossible because I'm holding it down in this corner, and the friction created by the pages being woven together is so much that you can't overcome it unless I'm not holding it then you can kind of like work the pages back and forth. So all you need are two paperback books. They have to be paperback so that they bend easily and you're going to weave the pages back and forth between each other and because the pages are woven together like this the friction created by you holding the corner will make it absolutely impossible for them to pull the books apart. So grab a couple books and try this out at home. Also if you just let go from right here they become pretty easy to pull apart. You just kind of work them back and forth and the books will slide out just like that. Take a glass and a matchbox and you're going to challenge someone to stand the matchbox upright using only one finger on the glass just like this. When they try it, they will fail every single time. Let me show you the secret to winning this challenge every time. You're going to take a box of matches and dump out the matches. A couple of coins and a glass to rest the matchbox upon. Take the bottom tray of the matchbox and put the coins inside and tape them in place. The coins are going to act as a weight to make the matchbox really easy to stand up when the coins are on this side of it. When the person you're challenging does it, you're simply going to flip it the other way so that when they try to do it, it falls off every single time because the coins are weighted on the other side. I have a dot drawn on this piece of paper right here. The challenge is can you take the pen, put it on the dot right there, and then draw a circle around the dot that doesn't touch the dot in any way without lifting the pen off the paper. And you only have 15 seconds to figure it out. <laughs> well, you can't just draw a line because then they're touching each other. So draw another dot. There you go. Pen's got to stay on the paper. Yep. Mm -hmm. The tip actually has to stay on it too. All right, give it one more shot. Okay. It's hard. No, not it. So you've got the pen on the dot like this. Pick up the corner of the paper, move it over here, and look, the pen never comes off the paper. Boom. Yeah. Cheater. <laughs> it's not cheating, I never said you couldn't do that. 
Okay, here's the secret to winning this every single time. Start off by drawing a dot right in the middle of the paper. The challenge is to draw a circle around the dot without lifting the pen. So all you have to do is lift that corner up, bring it over to the dot, and bring your pen right onto the paper just like this, drawing a line out to the middle of the paper, and then you can just draw right off of the corner, draw your circle around the dot, boom and you win the challenge every single time. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with somebody you think might like it too. Let's see if we can get 5,000 likes on this video. Hit that thumbs up button, go crush it. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, I'm going to give away $500 Amazon gift cards, the lucky comments in the comment section down below. So all you have to do to win, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me which challenge you like the best. Here are the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Details on how to claim your prize are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right up here. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.